Hey trackies, welcome back to another video here on TXT Track Time. Please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. So this is the wrap up of the first day or the first final day for the Diamond League Finals happening in Brussels. So I want to go over a few more of the events that, you know, are featured here on this particular channel. And let's start with the women's uh, 100 meters. And I'm just wondering to myself, uh, yeah. Um, should I be surprised? <laughs> Absolutely not at this particular point because I'm like, really, 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 really? What was that, Shakiri? <laughs> That's literally, you know, what I'm thinking. But anyway, um, so the women's 100 meters um, went down and we're looking out for Julian Alfred. Clearly, she's the Olympic champion. Coming off the back of that defeat um, to Shakira Richardson Zurich. No, the talk was okay. What will happen in the finals? Will Julian Alfred come back at her? Or would Shakira Richardson go, go on? Richardson, sorry, go on, continuing to win and end out her season, you know, quite strongly. Plus then, they, uh, you know, having a real risk um in my opinion or i don't really want to call it resurgence um for a few years i've been thinking that dina has turned into a big softy baby right that's literally what i've been thinking like she's become too soft and if you want to be you know a part of the women's 100 meters you have to literally turn into a gladiator and i feel like in these last few outings i've been seeing gladiator dina i didn't see that at the olympic games but she's definitely turned up um as gladiator dina and i'm glad because that now puts her back into the conversation when it comes to fighting for potential medals in the future right so you know that's how the women's 100 meter finals in my opinion would have been built and yeah um as I, well, then again, when it comes to Shakira, as I said, I don't know what happened there, but I'm not really surprised. Um, but for Julian and Dina, I definitely thought I got what I was expecting. So Julian Alfred goes away with the win and she runs at 10.88 seconds and Dina Asher Smith 9.92. Loved um, the fight between these two. Dina wanted it. She was fighting for it. Julian wanted it. She was fighting for it. And they were literally, you know, neck and neck running for that race, you know, and Dina um, was well, not Dina, Julian just edged her out pretty much um, for that um, win. Now, I did talk, you know, in my previous video before Zurich when I talked about the potential shape I was expecting Julian in. Clearly, after that, I was like, okay, clearly she's not um, in tensive shape anymore, right? So, um, given that, I was thinking, all right, Shakiri um, should be fast enough to potentially also, you know, be fighting for that win here. Unfortunately, Shakiri has reverted to what we've literally seen in every single Diamond League final she's been in. Um, in recent times, we can go back to 2021. Uh, I don't even remember what happened in 2022. We know what happened in 2023 as well um, with Sharika winning. And here, well down the pack, eighth place, um, she got the start she typically gets. So I won't blame it on the start. She just, you know, gave up, as I would say. She literally just gave up when she realized that she wasn't getting back at Dina and Julian. And that was that. Um honestly it just kind of waters down the race a little bit because you know win lose or draw this is what makes racing exciting when sometimes you're not able to really call the win or when an athlete gets a bad start and they're really able to claw themselves back um to the front which was something she's done typically you know based on her running style always you know able to you know pull things off you'd say potentially with her you know amazing top end um i don't really like the whole give up mentality um in the race so yeah i'm just like i'm over it you know when it comes to shakari and, and and this racing um you know whatever i get i'll just take on whatever given day um when it comes to her um but good fight between julian alfred and good um and dina i liked it it was um entertaining mario jose talu was there for third and she ran an 11.05 seconds uh this was one of the first times in i don't know recent times i can't tell the last time i've seen a diamond league final without a jamaican right um you know pretty much just highly lighting um what really happened with us this season when elaine is out when shelly is out when sherika is out you know when these big guns are out you know there's a gap between where our next set of athletes are in terms of leveling up with the rest of the competition i'm hoping that you know outside of you know hoping that these top athletes come back next season um i'm hoping that we're definitely able to see a few more step into you know that top tier flight sprinting ranks right we see tia um is there are thereabouts not really consistent with it but
about right there. Um, I'm hoping that we get to see maybe a Brianna Liston. I've been hearing Brianna Williams is also going to be in the conversation. So I'm looking to see these athletes be consistent into, you know, 10 8 so that next season, if, you know, Shelly say, all right, I eat that, you know, we don't have to be looking around and be wondering, oh my God, who is going to take Shelly's place? Because there's literally somebody right there waiting in the wings. Um, you know, same thing if Elaine, you know, is not 100%. If something happens with Sharika, you know, we always have somebody to um to fall back on, right? So, yeah, that's pretty much what happened in the women's 100 meters. I'm not seeing any Jamaicans, as I said, but it is what it is. <laughs> we move forward. Uh, next up was the women's triple jump. Um, we had two Jamaicans there, um, Shanika Ricketts and Akila Smith, and they placed well. Um, they jumped um, f- or finished second and third, respectively, 14.22 and 14.11. The jumps haven't really been, you know, impressive, but also the conditions have been pretty poor. I've been hearing, you know, the commentator say it's been cold. So, yeah, nothing really spectacular going on, you know, in the jumps that I've been noticing, you know, on the circuit after the World Championships. It doesn't matter if it's male or female. I haven't really seen anything, you know, you know, super wild, right? So, um, given that, I mean, it is what it is. It's a second place and a third place, and I'm happy for them. I would have loved Shanika to go away with the win, um, clearly, but that didn't happen. That was not the cards today. She definitely went for it in her final jump. Had a few jumps, um, fouls, I should say, three fouls, as a matter of fact, right? So she was definitely going for it um, in the final jump. Didn't get close. Well, got close, but it wasn't enough um, to overtake Perez Hernandez from Cuba that walked her with the win. Interestingly, Perez Hernandez only had one legal jump, um, 14.37 meters for that win. So yeah, um, not the best um, series, you would say, for her by any stretch of the imagination, but that one jump was enough for the win. And as I said, Jamaica, second and third, and we'll take it. Um, in the women's 800 meters, we had Natalia Gould top in there. She finished third. She ran 1 minute 58.94 seconds. Mary Mora went away for the win, 1 minute 56.56 seconds. Now, clearly, when you think about the fact that um, the Olympic champion um, wasn't in this race as well as um, the American, anything more, not here, then yeah, um, you know, not much you'd say competition for mary mora she would have to literally blunder really badly to not win this race so she ran re- pretty well um a season's best for her so fastest time she's run this year um to go away for that win um she really dug deep um to take it from um georgia bell from great britain and not how you go you know hung on there um I believe better execution from her, 158-94, um, not complaining, third place for in a Diamond League. So I think overall, great showings for Jamaican, for the Jamaicans um, on this first final day for the Diamond League finals. Um, another day is coming up tomorrow, another big day. Let's hope um, our Jamaicans can, you know, use this as motivation to continue you know doing well in the events to come um for sure <laughs> i'm excited for what i'm seeing here um let me know your thoughts in the comment section below of course like the video and subscribe to the channel i'll catch you all in the next one bye